Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick craft haul update. Um, some things that I've bought over the past few weeks. Um, a majority of which are stickers, but um, I have a few other things as well. Um, so I found these stickers were on clearance at Target um, for 58 cents. These are actually in the school supply section. Um, they're, they said they're for like decorating your school supplies. Um, so I got these kind of as they were clearancing out that stuff. And these hearts. I got this set of like nerd stickers. Um, I really like the glasses and the beakers were really cute. Um, so those are fun. I got these owls. I bought two sheets of these. Um, I like these little guys with the mustaches, but the owls were just really cute. I think they're really pretty colors. I really like this one. It's kind of like a pale robin's egg. And these are all like really thick puppy stickers. Um, these ones I thought were super cute with the arrows and the kind of like hand drawn words. These girly kind of skulls. And these music notes. So those were all um, on clearance for 58 cents, which I thought was a pretty good deal because they, they're really nice stickers. Um, and then I got, let's see, these ones I got because I really liked this little jellyfish, um, but the little sea life ones are always cute, lots of good shells. Um, those came from Big Lots, those were 50 cents. I got two sheets of these alphabet stickers, they're the American Girls Craft ones. Um, so I got two packs of these, there's two sheets in each. Um, and they're just really cute, colorful, little bubble-style letters. So, got two sheets of those. Those are TJ Maxx. Those were $1.49 each. Um, these were on clearance at Michael, the K & Company Halloween stickers. I think I'm done making Halloween stuff for the year now that it's almost Halloween. But I always need stickers. Um, I also got these witches hats, the sticko ones, um, so I can use those next year. And then these, I've used a couple of these, so I've pulled them off the sheet already. Um, but these are the little, like, Russian dolls from Sticko. I thought these were really cute. I really like the birds. Um, I mostly got these because this one with the green eyes and the tabby cat reminded me of me and my cat. <laughs> So I wanted to make something with this. Um, I've tested this out with one that I pulled off that I didn't want to put these inside a resin piece, but I would have liked it to be something that I could wear as a necklace. So I've uh, experimented with doming the resin directly on top of the sticker and then on the back as well to make it nice and thick. Um, and that worked out pretty well. I just need to make sure I um, seal the sticker first because I got one little resin stain. So, But I think those are really cute. And then um, Target had Monster High stuff in their dollar bins, so I got some Monster High stickers. Just these ones are cute. I just got one set of these, the really small character stickers with the lockers. Um, I liked these because they have like all, I mean not all, but a lot of the characters in it. As opposed to just the main few that they usually have, so... I liked the variety in these, so those are really cute. That Abby is adorable. She is so cute. Ah, so those are sweet. Um, and then I got two sets of these ones um, that are the larger stickers um, with the holographic backgrounds on, but I really liked this one, and this one I think is really versatile. You can't really tell that it's Monster High, so that one's really cute, and this one as well. But. There's a bigger one of the Abbey. I just love that artwork of her. So cute. And then I got some skulls. These are just glitter. I really like these ones with the bow on them. I think are really sweet. Um, I've used one of those in something already. I got these cupcakes from Sticker Doodles. Um, these are metallic and glittery, so they're very, very shiny. But I liked the variety of sizes in these. So you've got the great big ones and then the little ones as well. And I bought these sticko stickers, the kind of desserts with the little kawaii faces on them. Um, these aren't new, but I hadn't seen them before for some reason. So um, I bought myself a sheet of these. I just think they're super cute. Um... I got this, just lots of little um, rainbow bright colored holographic candy. These are really good for like filler in pieces just because they're so small. 
And then these are good filler to these hearts. I got these tiny little hearts um, in shades of pink and purple. Those were on clearance. These cupcakes, these are the newer ones because they've got the new labels, so I hadn't seen these before. I've already used a couple of them in pieces, um, but these are really pretty. They're a good size, too. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting <clears throat> I'm getting sick, so my voice is going a little bit. Um, I've got these really nice stars. You can never have too many stars, and these are super glittery. And then, let's see, the last stickers I have, I got one of these sheets. It's one of the great big ones. Um, these are foam stickers with glitter, just alphabet. They're really nice. I really like the, the glitter on them. It's like an iridescent in kind of the green to purple family. Um, I found these at my grocery store, actually. I shop at Meijer, and they were on clearance for $1.50. Um, my Meijer was rearranging their whole cross section, so they clearanced out a bunch of stuff. And I missed pretty much everything. I went and all the like shelf tags there were orange clearance stickers everywhere but there wasn't anything in the spots where the clearance stickers were so everyone else beat me to it but um there was one thing left that i got really really excited about which was this um which is a martha stewart punch with the different size stars and it's um it's an all over punch so you can use it position it how you need to and, and use them kind of all over. Um, and then of course it's going to give you really nice little star confetti when you're done too. Um, so this was five thirty nine, dollars um, and I have always loved and wanted this stamp and always looked at it when I went by the Ma Martha Stewart section, but didn't want to spend $18 on it. Um, so I was really excited. This was the last thing that was left in the Martha Stewart section. So I grabbed it. Super excited. Um, I also got a punch, this one's already open because I opened it to test it out, um, I got this one at TJ Maxx, um, and I want to say it was about $4, um, and it is a, f it's a, a corner and punch and embossing one, um, so it's got four different corner cutouts and then it embosses the pattern on there as well, um. Uh, I haven't found that the embossing part is particularly good. I don't really notice that come out very well on the paper. Um, it recommends a certain uh, thickness of cardstock though, so I probably would just need to get a cardstock that's that's the right thickness to really pick up those designs. But even without it, like a four corner punch is great. You can always use that, so that was nice. Um, let's see, what else do I have? And um, this I just picked up that probably should have uh, been cheaper than it was, but this was when they were back in the 50 cent bins, I think. Um, and I went on a cruise this past summer with some of my friends and I finally got photos back and I was gonna do um, like a big framed collage. So I thought this would be really nice to decorate that with. And then I have some stamps. Um, this set I just got when their stamps were 40% off. Um, the Halloween stamps and things. Um, but I really like all of these. That skull is beautiful. The spell book, which is super detailed. Uh, the crow or raven in a cage. Um, so I thought these were really pretty. I had my eye on these all through Halloween. So I went ahead and bought those even though they weren't super cheap. But I think they ended up being about $6. So it's not too bad. Um, this set was on clearance, I think it was about two or three dollars. Um, usually when they have the clearance tags in the stamp section, there's never any left or the wrong ones are in that spot, but these ones were legit, so I'm really excited about that. I love the snowflake, um, I think the season's greetings is really pretty for inside, uh, cards. I think that's a really nice one. Um. And I like the Be Merry as well because I like that it's like a typewriter font. So I have a bunch of Christmas stuff to make so that's going to be perfect. And then I got this set of cling stamps. Just really cute cupcakes. Um, these were at TJ Maxx as well for $1.49. I found some good stuff at my TJ Maxx finally. 
And then these were on clearance at Michael as well for $2.99, the 57 pieces um, of this script, uppercase and lowercase letters, um, and then some uh, punctuation marks as well. So those are handy stamps to have. Can't go wrong with letter stamps. And then the last set of stamps I have are these ones. These were a dollar at Big Lots. Um, and they're just different tags and things um, that have like lines that you can write on. I thought this one is actually almost the size of a, a tag punch that I have. So that will be perfect. I think that's going to be really cute um, to use for Christmas tags. So for a dollar, those are really versatile. And then the last thing I have, um, over the summer my Meyer grocery store put out a whole bunch of different silicone ice trays um, and they started out at about two dollars each and they finally the stickers on them say 99 cents but they actually clearanced them down to 49 cents so I bought a few of what was left um, I got this guitar set these are cute um, so these are ice cube molds but I would use them for resin and some of these are actually to give away so there's these guitar set there's these bunny rabbits. I've actually, I have one of these already and I've been using it for ice cubes. They come out really cute. But those would be nice resin pieces too. Um, I got this apple one. Red doesn't pick up very well on this camera. But um, they're just apples. I thought those would be really pretty. You could make some fun ones with those. Um, and those ones are all matte inside but they... I've used a star one from, from these mold sets and it's really easy to do them over and, and glaze them. So, um, And then some of them were actually shiny, which I've used before, which are these ones, the really big cubes that are already shiny on the inside and so your pieces come out shiny. These are nice. Um, I have one of those that I've used quite a lot. And then this one, which are the long skinny ones. It's a shape that I'm not really sure what to do with as far as resin pieces go. Um, but they're so shiny on the inside. It's a really fun shape. I'm just not really sure what to do with it. But I bought a couple of those. So Anyway, um, that's all the stuff I've bought recently. There's probably some other things floating around, but I bought them and used them immediately. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.